so when you get your Raspberry Pi, and in my case this is a version 2, this is what typically comes in the box. So here is the power of it. This is the HDMI port which you can use to connect it to a display. Over here there are four USB ports which you can use to connect your mouse and keyboard and if you have other things like a USB webcam or a USB microphone you can use these ports or whatever else basically that is USB enabled to connect to your Raspberry Pi. In the back here you'll see an empty slot and that is where something called a micro SD card will plug in and micro SD card is actually pretty much uh, all the files, uh, all the operating system, all the programs that run your Pi. Those will all be over there and whatever whatever file you will capture, let's say with a camera or with anything else, it's going to be stored in this micro SD card. We'll see how to use it. So I said if you have a USB camera, USB webcam, you can use the USB ports, but otherwise I have a camera module which, which uh, will plug in here. And over here you see some kind of a big input area, it's for a network connection. It's very useful because once you, let's say you install your Pi somewhere and you don't want to move it around too much, you can actually avoid connecting a keyboard or mouse or display to it by hooking a network cable over here and maybe connecting that cable to your laptop or your computer and then you can directly connect internally to your Raspberry Pi and control, turn things on and off, restart things. It's a very useful part. I just want to mention a few points about these guys. These are some pins, as you will see. And I think the uh, different versions of Raspberry Pi might have two, two versions of these pins, but they are the cool um, items which you can write a code to turn each of these pins on and off and these pins give you some voltage or some kind of um, signal uh, depending on what the pin is like and uh, you can control them and you can control like a, a, a motor with it or a little LED with it all of those things will be controlled over here so yeah this is our uh, Raspberry Pi overall and now let's actually start plugging in a couple of things to it to make it useful and actually turn it on. One of the most important things is a micro SD card, which I told you is almost like our Raspberry Pi's kind of hard disk. And it actually plugs in like this. Okay, we push it in. It's plugged in and then you can actually like take it out like this, back and forth. Okay, so let's keep it in. The next thing that we will connect to is, let's say, a display. Here's a display we will use. Let me get a, get an HDMI cable to connect it. So for that, you're going to need to plug in the HDMI cable here. And you can plug the other part of the HDMI. So that is our HDMI, that's our display basically, which is plugged in now. The next thing that we can install and basically connect is, let's say, a keyboard. So I have a Bluetooth-enabled uh, keyboard, which connects over here to the USB port. And then you can actually, I can use the keyboard next to it. So I'm going to leave it here. And the other thing that we can use is the mouse. So I think the first time you set Raspberry Pi up, you will actually need all of these. Uh, you need a keyboard, you need a mouse, you need a display to set it up. I don't think it will boot without it. Without it. So let's plug in. Okay, so our mouse is also connected. And um, so we have the the hard well, micro SD. We have the display. We have the 
keyboard, we have the mouse, we are actually ready to power them up. So first let's power up the display and let's plug it into electricity. So here's a here's how we can use it. This finally plug in our Raspberry Pi. So first let me plug it in here. And there we go. So you can see that it starts to. Let me turn on the display as well. You can see that this starts to blink. And our display is also active. The first time you boot up your Raspberry Pi, it actually asks you um, up, like some information to set up your account. And something you should remember, it's usually written somewhere small, but the initial login information, the username and password by default is Pi, P-I, as the username and Raspberry as a password. And with that, you can log in and then you can change your password or set things up. And now this little guy is programmable. We can run a lot of codes on it and we will we will go over those maybe in the next video. And actually, I'm going to now uh, use the mouse to turn it off so that you can safely unplug it. Like you can have different options, so let's select some shutdown. All right, so we are we are good. Talk to you guys later.